would look at moments. All right, the other way of looking at moments is they're called turning forces. And turning forces are a combination of the force or the weight that's being exerted down and the distance that that force is from the pivot. Okay, I think it's important here, so I'm going to just flag it up for you. Your forces are in newtons, your distance will be in meters, so your turning force is a combination of those two units and it's a newton meter. All right, let's have a little look at what I'm talking about. You use um, turning forces all the time. You use them to open cans of treacle or cans of paint, where if you try to take it with your nail, you just bust your nail. So what you tend to do without even thinking about it is go and grab a spoon or hopefully um, a screwdriver and you shove the end in, the edge of the can becomes the pivot and you actually use a turning force to open the can. You've also used them on a seesaw. Let's have a little look. Okay, so the turning force of my cat will be a combination of the force, in fact his weight, because that's his force, his mass being pulled downwards. So his force on the end, and I'm going to say his force is 40 newtons, and the distance that cat is from the pivot. This is the pivot. And I'm going to say he's two meters. So his turning forces are his force times his distance from that pivot. His, his force is 40 newtons multiplied by two meters, which will give him a turning force of 80 newton meters. All right, so when we're talking about turning forces, they are either clockwise or anti-clockwise. So hopefully what you can see is his turning force will be clockwise. So the cat on this end has 80 newton meters of clockwise turning force. All right, let's look at the other side. And this cat weighs 80 newtons. If this cat sits one meter from the pivot, even though my pink cat has a greater force than my blue cat, the turning force is the same because actually, let's just calculate it. So my force is 80 newtons and my distance is one meter. That will mean that my turning force is 80 newton meters. Okay, just like before, we know that these, because they're turning forces, have to have either clockwise or anti-clockwise. Well, this one will be the anti-clockwise. Let's have a look. So, on this side of our seesaw, our pink cat has 80 newton meters of anti-clockwise turning force. Leave a comment down below and let us know if we've nailed it. Or drop us a line at Learn at Cadizzi if there's other things you need us to cover. I hope we made that easy.